Hey everybody, it's Tim from RPG Keys with the video to walk you through how to get your RPG Key software. Um, specifically, this is for the people from WPPI who, down, who signed up for the demo of the keys. Um, okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the download page on our website and you're going to click new download. Okay, You need to fill out this form and you're going to want to go ahead and use the email address that you gave us when you signed up for the demo. So fill this out, you can copy and paste the registration form that you've already got in an email, possibly in your spam box, I don't know. Uh, but we've already emailed you this, this registration code. So you wanna go ahead and copy that into here, fill out this form, um, and hit submit. And it will present you with a download. Um, if you're ever coming back to re-download, go ahead and use the re-download form. It's a lot shorter, you don't have to fill in all the fields. It's just looking for your, co your reg code, your email, and of course the little fire is hot thing. Um, if you don't know what your registration code is, for example, you didn't get the email from us, um, or it's in your spam box and you deleted it, or you don't know which email you used, you can use the download lost reg code. Uh, and you simply put in whatever email you might have used and hit enter. And if we find a match, we will, <clears throat> excuse me, if we find a match, we will send you your code. Um, if we don't find a match, we'll tell you we didn't find a match. And then of course you should try another email. So this is pretty helpful. Um, the other thing is down here is the PC help install links. And you're gonna wanna watch this. Um, this will walk you through how to install your RPG key, how to get going, um, and you know basically answer some general questions. I'm gonna do some of that here in this video, but this video is not produced, it's just me rambling on. So this PC help page is gonna be your friend. Um, so let's give it a shot. So we're going to minimize this here and we're going to go, you've got a file. Once you've downloaded, then unzipped it. That looks like this. And so you want to open it up, go to install step one and you want to go and you want to either double click or right click. So, um, let me explain this. Everybody's PC is a little different. Um, and your permissions are a little different. So you either want to double click this installer or you want to right click and run as admin. Okay. On my computer, I just double click it. So I'm gonna run like this. It says you're about to start RPG Keys Build 101.10 on your PC. Would you like to continue? Um, you won't see this. This is because I've already used this version of the software. So we're gonna say yes. And it's gonna load up. And it does take a moment. And then it should start, okay? So this is what your RPG key should look like in just a moment. I may have actually said no, oops. Your subscription connected to this is expired, which means we used the wrong thing. So this is the activation window, okay? So you're gonna wanna fill this in, copy and paste if you can, um, your email that you use for download, your name and your reg code. And if you do copy and paste, make sure that you don't um, have a space at the beginning or the end of your registration code because spaces are characters and it will error out and say it's not active. So I'm gonna do that and uh, you'll see the next section of the video. Okay, so I've activated my RPG keys just like you need to do, and this is the first screen you're gonna see. Um, so the RPG key works with Photoshop CS3 all the way through CS6, 64-bit and 32-bit. It works with Adobe Camera Raw, a limited set of functionality there, and then it works with Lightroom 4.3. Um, if you're using Lightroom 4.1 or 4.0, just upgrade, it's a free upgrade. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and check, it, it might, you wanna make sure it's enabled, so you just double click right there, and we're gonna hit save and close. So it takes a moment to load, and it might not start off with having selected the 20 key, which is mislabeled here as 23 key. It may have selected the 58 key or the 18 key, but if you're a WPPI demo, or you wanna select 23 key. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to imp go up to the layouts. We've got Lightroom 3 selected. There is no default layout, um, which I'm gonna to try to add today, but if there isn't, you just go up to layouts and go to import layouts, go to your unzipped file and WPPI special and select that and hit open. And here it is. So let's try it again. Let's try it again. All right. There it is. So I had to, what I had to do there is I had to click on the 18 key and come back to the 23 key. 
And when I did, I found the WPPI special listed in the layout section, okay? So I'm gonna load that. And what it's gonna do is it's going to set up every key the way I was using it at the show. Um, so if you click on button 16 listed right here, your keyboard on your RPG key is going to show that it's exposure up, a small adjustment up, or a big adjustment up, depending on whether or not you're holding down the option key. So this thing at this point should be reasonably plug and play, with one exception. Your, the, the Lightroom presets on your computer are different than the Lightroom presets on my computer, and so I wanna show you how to program a few keys with your Lightroom presets. So, Okay, so like I said, because everybody has different presets on their computer, you do need to set up the RPG key for your most used Lightroom presets. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick a key, like key number two, and I'm gonna hit clear this key so that you see, this is what you've got on yours. Right now, key number two is blank, okay? And we're in Lightroom three in the applications here. We're in the WPPI special. So we need to program key number two. So we're gonna go to RPG actions in the function menu, okay? And in the search bar right here, we're gonna type the word preset and we're gonna hit search. Actually, it's a little search icon. And I'm gonna put, there's all these blank macros that are called preset and then a number, preset 001, 002, 003. So I'm gonna double click on preset 001 and you're gonna see it listed in the lower left hand corner. Now I'm gonna do the same thing for the second and third levels of the key. So I've got preset 001, 002, 003 on key number two. And now I'm gonna do the same thing, but just continuing, oop, made a mistake there, for, go here, we want to go three, uncheck. Okay, so we got button three, we're gonna do three, four, and five, okay? So there's button number three. Four, five, six. Okay, so I've got four, five, and six on button three, and then just again to kind of make the analogy here, seven and eight. So you get the idea. So I've got these three empty macros on each of these keys, okay? So now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna say Lightroom Preference, this little red thing here, I'm gonna hit Lightroom Preference, and I'm gonna do, this window opens up and it actually is looking at your hard drive for all your presets. And so here are all my presets. So I'm gonna pick one called Tim for this one and hit Save Preference. And then I'm gonna go down here to LR Pref and I'm gonna do something totally different, like test five, 55. So you need to assign, the, the, the logic is this. Go to a key, like key six, okay? And say, okay, I wanna do, we go, to, we go to RPG actions. Again, we type the word preset, we hit search, and we put the macro on there that you wanna put on the key, and then you click the little red LR prep. Um, that's how you assign Lightroom presets. So I've rambled on and on long enough. Um, in your RPG key, just a couple of words for you here. Um, you'll see some video icons. These are training videos, um, so watch them, okay? They're gonna explain how you put three different functions on each key. Um, it's gonna explain a whole lot about the RPG key. And once you've watched these videos, um, pick up the phone and call us. We like to think that we treat our RPG key customers like we might treat one of our studio's brides. Um, little hand holding goes a long way. We're looking here to make you a customer for life. So play with this keyboard, play with this product for a half hour or an hour, watch the videos, and then when you get stuck, pick up the phone and call us. Um, if you don't call us, we won't know that you're stuck. And so, you know, we, you know, just like if a bride has questions but doesn't call you, you're not going to know to help them. So um, have a play um, and, you know, pick up the phone or put a, Put a trouble ticket in on our website and those go right through to my cell phone. Um, you know, if you don't hear from us within 24 hours, poke at us again. We, you know, we typically respond within an hour or two um, unless there's something going on like a photo shoot. So, all right. Thanks for trying out the RPG Key 20 key. Um, it's a new product and you are one of 100 people that are playing with it and uh, as part of this kind of prototype or, or demo program. Take care.